everybody. How are you? It's Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio and welcome to my creative year for May 2019. I know I'm a little behind, um, but I've been having some internet issues. So I'm kind of re-recording the beginning of this so that you understand why um, May is being uploaded in June. But anyway, sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and I'll see you on the other side. Oh, and by the way, the uh, prompt for the month of May is animal. So I had a little bit of fun. Um, I'll see you on the other side. Bye. Okay, the first thing that I did was I glued down using this glue. I will link everything in the description below. You know, underneath here. So I went ahead and glued this on. This uh, paper that I used, okay, the uh, paper that I used here is the Recollection, Recollections Mixed Media Pad. And I thought it would just go awesome with uh, my idea that I have. I also went ahead and distressed the edges um, with Distress Ink Vintage Photo. And as I said before, um, my video skipped a little bit here, so I'm sorry. Um, I'll link everything in the description below that I use. So, but the next thing I would like to do on this is I would really like to put a tree. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my Cricut and I know I have a really cool haunted tree that's part of my subscription um, through Cricut Access. So let me go cut out my tree and I'll be right back. Okay, here's my tree. And I think I cut this at maybe 10 or 11 inches. I did trim right here a branch that was kind of shooting off this way. But I think. I think this is going to fit. Looks like it. So there's my tree. I know I want to glue him down. Isn't that kind of a cool looking tree? It's a cool looking tree. The other thing I have here is my little birdie. I printed him out on craft cardstock. This he this little bird is a bird sketch and it's a digi print from Gina B. Aaron's Designs. And I need to add some yellow to him. So I'm going to use the Arteza water brush pen in lemon yellow. And I'm just going to kind of add just a little bit of yellow. Just to kind of brighten him up just a little bit. I do enjoy these pens. Just kind of brightens up the shadow a little bit. But as I said, I went ahead and cut him out um, on just some craft, craft stock paper. And because I have an inkjet printer, I do spray everything with Spectrafix. Um, this is a really great product because I can use this in my craft room and I don't have to worry about fumes and it also sets everything. So I really enjoy that. It's not sticky stinky. So I want my bird in my tree. Something. Uh, see, I want to glue him in the tree before I glue the tree down. I think I want him in here. Something like that. All right. Let me glue him into the tree and I'll be right back. Okay, my birdie is up in my tree, and again, I use the art glitter glue. So 
I picked him up so you can see how cute he is. Look at how adorable he is. I'm telling you, Gina really has some cute, cute, cute digi prints, stencils, stamps. I will also link her Etsy store down below. And just a little um, heads up, um, I'm going to post a discount code down there. So if you ever purchase anything from Gina's Etsy store, um, I'll make sure, please use my discount code so that you get a discount. Um, nothing is better than getting a little bit of a little bit of a discount off things. Okay, I want my tree to set right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to glue all of this, which is going to be a little bit of a pain in the behind. So I won't bore you with watching that. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. It's all glued on. Isn't that it is so intricate. My Cricut really cut that out nicely. And it only tore in one spot. And you really can't tell because my birdie sit down on top of it. Isn't that awesome? That is an awesome tree. And Gina's bird just sits perfectly in that tree. And I'll tell you the thing I love about this glue is this tip. And by the way, I don't get paid, you know, for, for any... Um, promotions, you know, for, um, Gina, for the glue or paper, or I am on Gina's design team, but I don't get paid to be on Gina's design team. Um, I get products once in a while to, to, to play with, but, um, this glue dries clear and you don't have a lot of wiggle room. You really have to, you have to get it on there and get that, you know, whatever you're gluing, get it down quick. So there we go. Now I have a saying, um, a sentiment that I want to put on there. I have just a little bit hanging off here. I'm just going to clip these branches just a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I want to print them out on my coffee dyed paper. Um, I did a My Muse video on how I did my coffee dyed paper. And I'll put the I card right there. So if you just click on that link, that will take you right to my video on how I make my coffee dyed paper. So I'm going to real quick type up my sentiment and run it through the printer. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Look at that. I took my broken wings and learned to fly. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this. Yep, I'm going to tear it because I like it that way. So let me go ahead and tear out my words because I'm sure that's really fascinating for you. But let me get that all done and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to take my glue. And by the way, it does come with this pin to put in the top to keep it from clogging. I'm just going to take my words. That I have torn out. Oops, sorry. Hey. If I'm out of frame, would someone please say, hey, you're out of frame? I can hear y'all screaming right now. Hey, Leslie, you're out of frame. What is this? <laughs> this paper smells so good. It smells like coffee. Mm. 
And actually, I, I really love the sentiment because yes, you can't take your broken wings and learn to fly no matter how broken you are, no matter how broken your wings are, you can learn to fly because I know I certainly did. I know I have one family member that I'm always telling her, you can do this. You can take those broken wings and learn to fly. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you can't do something. She's doing a great job. I'm so proud of her. She had some broken wings, let me tell you, and not by her own doing. At least ninety percent of it was not her own doing. She got the bad end of the stick on that one on life. She's flying by God. She's flying. See, that's the one thing I like about this is I can just see if it's coming up a little bit there. Down it goes. And it dries clear. Okay, let's get that on there. Now, that looks great and it's wonderful, but I'm going to use the chocolate uh, watercolor brush pen and I'm just going to outline this because it will make it stand out. See, look how much more that stands out. Well, so I don't want it perfect. because nothing is perfect. Yeah, that looks much better with that. You could also use a Stabilo All pencil to do that, to do this. But I just thought I'd break this out. Okay, here we are. We are done. Here's our finished product. Our finished project. Our birdie look adorable. She just sketches some of the greatest, the greatest little animals. I took my broken wings and learned to fly. And I did use this and kind of outlined and shadowed a little bit. Oh, I missed a little bit right here. And shadowed the, um, the branches on, the, on this tree. Um, I will, as I said, I will link everything in the description below. And please. Head on over to my creative year. We, um, it is a Facebook group and uh, we have quite a few teachers and we do prompts every month and musings and we do all kinds of fun stuff. Um, and it's free. You can't beat free. But it's a, it's a real fun way to explore art. And everybody interprets everything differently. I guarantee you there'll probably be no one who interprets 
um, animal as a bird with a broken wing learning to fly. But that's my take on it, and that's okay. So all I have left to do is to sign this. And this was for the month of May. 2019. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to stop by our YouTube, or um, I'm sorry, our Facebook group. I'll also link that in the description below along with everything else that um, I used. Have a great rest of your week, rest of your day. And as always, please be nice. It's really not that difficult. Bye, everybody.